Hey there everyone, it's Nina. Thanks for joining me today for a new video. Today I'm going to be sharing a card project using new products from Simon Says Stamps brand new Beautiful Days release. This release has a lot of great spring themed products that can also be used year round. And I'm really excited about some of the new tools that are also part of the collection. And I'll be using one of them today to make my card. This is the card that we're going to be creating today. I love the Garden Fresh stamp set and it actually has a coordinating stencil that you can use to color in the jars that are part of this image that I have here. The stamp set has three different types of florals that are bouquet into these cute little jars. I love to collect vintage bottles and this stamp set totally makes me think of that. It's always fun to gather some pretty flowers from the garden and then stick them in my bottles and jars. It's really fun. Okay, so back to the project. I'm inking up the images with intense black ink from Simon's Stamp, and then I'm going to pull out the coordinating stencil. This is actually the botanical jars stencil, but it coordinates perfectly with the Garden Fresh set. You could also use the stencil though on its own if you want to. I'm cutting apart my images to make the ink blending a little bit easier. I've taped my stencil to one of my pieces and using a detailed blending brush, I'm going to ink blend some marine ink onto this jar. I used marine ink for two of the jars and then for one of them I used pink. This is three separate pieces for each jar and so I'm just shifting and replacing the stencil over each section that is required to color in the pieces. And you can tell which section colors which jar because they're all different shapes so that makes it really easy. So I have all my ink blending completed, but I wanted to spice these jars up a little bit more by adding some sparkle. So I'm taking a little bit of glitz paste from Brutus Monroe and I'm carefully applying it through the stencil. And because I also want the top of the jar to also have that paste, I'm very carefully laying the stencil on top of that section and just quickly putting some paste through there too. And I repeated this for all of the jars that I created, just again, swapping out one of the colors for pink. These jars are gonna look super cute and there are coordinating dies to cut these images out. So now that I have all of my stenciling completed and these have dried, I'm coloring in the flowers. I picked pretty simple colors. I just used the same green across all of these images and then I picked two different pinks to color in the florals. So the roses I used RV markers in RV 10, 13, and 25. And then for the other florals that look kind of like tulips, I used RV63 and RV66. Pretty simple shading. I didn't get really crazy with the coloring. At this point, you can cut your images out and I'm gonna work on creating the panel that's going to sit on my card base. So I'm stamping a sentiment first and I'm stamping it along the top portion of my card. This card ended up being about five by seven, maybe a tad smaller. And I just wanted to have a little bit of a grounding section for my jars of florals because I didn't want them to be floating. So I masked off the bottom portion of this panel where I've stamped the sentiment and I'm ink blending along the top of that masked off portion. Then I'm bringing in more masking paper and I'm stamping my sentiment on top of that masking paper. And I'm gonna roughly cut this out, nothing fancy. I'm just trying to go around the greeting so that my greeting is not gonna get covered by some mist, shimmer mist, that I'm going to apply on top. So this is just gonna protect the sentiment from getting anything on it that I don't want. So we'll place this on top and then we'll bring in our shimmer mist. The Shimmer Mist is from Brutus Monroe. It's a really nice, pretty pearl. And I'll just gently apply a nice little splattering of the Shimmer Mist across my background. Of course, I need to remove that mat, so I'll carefully do that with some Simon Says Stamp tweezers. This is going to dry, and once it has, I then brought in my florals. I'm putting foam tape on the back of these, and actually on the pink jar, I'm actually gonna put two layers of foam tape because I do want it to be a little bit higher, as if it's in front of the jar that's on the right. And I haven't pushed these fully down onto my paper yet because I wanna play around with the placement and get it just right before I commit to it. So once I've decided where they're going, then I can go ahead and press them down really well. I also brought in a Copic marker and added just a little bit of shading underneath of these jars. A quick little run of a darker Copic color in gray, which was C2, and now I'm using C0 to feather that out. I decided to put a little bit of pattern paper along the bottom portion of my card base, and I'm gluing this down with some Simon Says Stamp glue stick because I wanted to give myself a little bit of wiggle room for the placement of this paper, and because the glue stick is slick, it's going to allow me to shift the paper around as I apply it. Once I have that attached, then I'll use my scissors to just cut off the excess that's hanging off the side. 
I also decided I wanted to wrap a bit of ribbon around my card. And though my pattern paper has not quite yet dried onto the card, I'm being a little careful here, I'm cutting a little slit into the side of my card base, and then I can take some ribbon and slip this through. And you can see here my paper hadn't fully adhered yet, so it's kind of popping up, so I'll just press that down again. And now I can take that ribbon and just tie it around my card. This is a really easy trick for getting ribbon to wrap around a side folding card. I decided not to do a bow, however, I just did a quick little knot, and that makes things nice and simple. This will also be a little less bulky in going through the mail. Once I got the placement of my knot just right, then I can attach my floral panel onto my card base, and I used foam tape for that. My last finishing touch, and this is where that new tool comes in that I'm really excited about, this is the Simon Says Stamp Place and Score tool. It's a great embellishment wand with a wax tip and also a scoring tool on the other side. It's perfect for embellishments and you can also use it to score your projects, which is kind of nice. I also like to use that scoring tool to kind of push my sequins into place if I didn't get them placed just right when I use the wax tip. So this is the finished card. It's a little bit simple, but I really like that the simplicity allows the beautiful florals and jars to shine on this project, especially with that fun glitter paste covering them. They sparkle beautifully. I hope you were inspired by this card project. Don't forget that you can check out the new release from Simon Says Stamp over at their store. I have links below in the video description as well as on my blog for you to check everything out. There's also still images of the card over on my blog as well. I can't wait to come back and share more with you, but until I see you again, I hope you have a wonderful day and thanks for watching.